Grand Traverse Area Veterans Coalition says the Traverse City Beach Bums didn't give them the money they were promised from special events at games in both 2012 and 2013. Now the Sheriff's Office is investigating those claims. 7 and 4's Megan Morelli has been working on this story for the last few days and joins us live from Werfel Park with what she found out. Megan, what can you tell us? Kristen, this is a story that I first heard about on Wednesday, but waited to report it until I could get all of the information from everyone who was involved. I spoke with George Champlin, a member of the Grand Traverse Area Veterans Coalition, and John Warfel, the Beach Bums owner, to get both sides of the story. The situation started a couple of months ago when George Champlin, a member of the coalition, and his wife Sue, who is the treasurer, saw on the Beach Bums website that proceeds from a 2012 and a 2013 ball game had gone to the Grand Traverse Area Veterans Coalition. They put on their website that they gave the coalition about $3,000. That's when we started looking into it to see if, if they did send the money and we didn't get it or what happened to it. Champlin says his wife went to Warfel Park last week and spoke to Leslie Warfel about it. The 2012, I'm not sure what their, what the, uh, why they didn't, we didn't get any money from them. Uh, 2013, they said it's because we did not support the coalition did not support the beach bumps. But according to John Warfel, there was no money left over to give the coalition and says they agreed only to give them the net proceeds from the games, meaning the ballpark had to pay for the special jerseys and memorabilia that were sold to gather that money. By the time we paid for jersey shipping, the design work on them and got them in here and staffed the tables to do it and everything, there wasn't any. But Champlin says that when he and Warfel arranged these special nights at the ballpark, the fact that the coalition would get just net proceeds was never discussed. Warfel remembers differently. It's not about the money, it's about, it's about people using veterans, and I won't stand for that no matter who it is. Using uh, you know, beyond the back, of, the back of veterans, you know, to try to, to further themselves. Because they've, they've already paid the ultimate sacrifice, so they need to be honored now and supported now for what they've done. Warfel says he's a huge veteran supporter and admits that what was written on the website and has since been removed was an error on their part. This is a misunderstanding. I like to get together with George, just get it all straightened out. We love the veterans and, and that's, you know, where we're coming from here. George Champlin says that if it's proven that the beach bumps did not withhold any money from the coalition, then he'd like to let the situation go. I asked the beach bumps for the financial reports from those 2012 and 2013 games, but was told those aren't available today. Reporting live in Grand Traverse County, Megan Morelli, 7 and 4 News.